So the next story I'm going to tell you actually has uh, nothing to do with me. It starts back in 1990s, those were crazy times, and it was actually in Beverly Hills, so roughly around the time of Beverly Hills 90210. And there's a plastic surgeon, and he's doing Botox for all his famous Beverly Hills patients to, you know, get rid of frown lines. But they're coming in and they're saying, actually, my migraines are getting better. And he actually realizes that Botox may be actually helping migraines. He reports this, there's a clinical trial after that, and the FDA approves it. Botox for migraines. So it doesn't work as an acute therapy, it actually works as a prophylactic. And you might think that, well, how is it helping with frown lines? Maybe it's the tension component, but no, we actually did 32 injections. You know, start at the eyebrows, make our way over frontalis, temporalis, we do the occipital regions, down the actual trapezius and uh, shoulders as well. And what the Botox is actually doing, it's dampening the amount of activity that's occurring in the trigeminal nerve. It gets taken back through the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve is critical for migraines. It's part of that trigeminal cervical complex that leads to the triggering of migraines release of CGRP, which is that protein that vasodilates, and we have CGRP inhibitors now for that as well. So the Botox gets taken up by the trigeminal nerve and it reduces CGRP, substance P, and glutamate release. And these proteins get dampened down, it release, dampens down the trigeminal nerve activity and overall reduces migraines. Very effective. Here in Australia, you need to try three oral therapies. And if you fail that and you have chronic daily migraines, then you can start Botox and it can be very effective. My name's Prashanth Ramachandran. I'm a neurologist and I just want to teach neurology vicariously through my own and other stories like from Beverly Hills.